They were two embattled leaders standing side by side, hailing a new peace deal for Israel and the Palestinians. Donald Trump, in the midst of his impeachment trial, standing next to the Israeli PM, Benjamin Netanyahu, who only today was indicted on charges of bribery and fraud. Mr Trump said it was the deal of the century, but it has been met with hostility from Palestinian leaders. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Jonathan Rudman, reports. <laughs> One is currently being impeached, the other was today indicted for corruption. But as coincidence would have it, the three-year wait for President Trump's Middle East peace plan is now over. All prior administrations from President Lyndon Johnson have tried and bitterly failed. But I was not elected to do small things or shy away from big problems. My vision presents a win-win opportunity for both sides, a realistic two-state solution that resolves the risk of Palestinian statehood to Israel's security. Today, Israel has taken a giant step toward peace. Mr. Trump said Eastern Jerusalem would provide a Palestinian capital. He didn't mean Jerusalem itself shared between these two states, but apparently a Palestinian village outside it. Under this vision, Jerusalem will remain Israel's undivided, very important, undivided capital. In the Gaza Strip, the protests began long before the two leaders spoke. Hamas, which is in control here, says it won't rest till Jerusalem is Palestine's capital and it doesn't recognize Israel's right to exist. In the West Bank, President Mahmoud Abbas broke off contact with the Americans two years ago. He wasn't invited to Washington, and there's little prospect of him accepting what's on offer. Which is Gaza joined to the West Bank by a tunnel, Jewish settlements in the West Bank annexed by Israel, and Israel permanently controlling the border with Jordan. It's the end of uh, any prospects for a negotiated two-state solution. Uh, and the, um, Trump will be remembered as the one who literally killed the prospects of a political settlement. And it is also the beginning of the end of the international system, because the crux of the international system, the premise of it, is the inadmissibility of acquiring land by force. In Washington, a jubilant Benjamin Netanyahu called the plan fantastic and exceptional, and he never used the phrase Palestinian state. Mr. President, your deal of the century is the opportunity of the century. And rest assured, Israel will not miss this opportunity. The question now, though, is whether he will annex these Jewish settlements in the next five weeks before Israel returns to the polls. And if so, Palestinians seem set to respond with violence. Alternatively, this plan may come to nothing. So good for Netanyahu that the Palestinians will try to wait it out. Wait, in fact, for both these men to leave the stage and to try again when they've gone.